To start registering an account on Scratch, open up your browser and go to scratch.mit.edu and click on Join Scratch. You need your username. It needs to be something that you can remember and so is the password. Then you can enter your country Date of birth. You then need to enter an email address. After that, your account will be created. It is that simple. Now, if you want to also be able to share your scratch, you also need to confirm your email address. So pick up your email from your mailbox. Just click on the confirmation link. Once you clicked on the confirmation, your scratch will open up. If you click on create to load the editor, you'll find that there is a share button. So this orange share button means that you have correctly confirmed your email address and you are ready to both build your scratch and share your scratch with your friends. To build your first scratch, let's drag and drop blocks from the left hand side. For example, you can get the cat to move 10 steps when the green flag is clicked. And as you click on the green flag, you can see the cat moving along. You can also save your scratch by clicking Save Now. If the Save Now button is not available, that means your scratch is automatically saved. And you can also change the title of your scratch. My first scratch. If you want to share your scratch to other people, you can click on share and that would take your scratch to a public address. So anyone with this URL will be able to see your scratch. They can just pop this in their browser and they will see what you have done. We can click on the green flag and you can see the cats moving. If we go back to see inside, you see the blocks that you have dragged and dropped onto the canvas for the cat to move. Once you have a few scratch projects, you may want to click on this folder button. And you see that you have saved maybe two scratches and one of them is shared with other people. And if you want to go back to one of these scratches, you can just click on see inside and you can see the editor again. This wraps up our introduction to Scratch. Have fun playing with Scratch and we'll see you soon.